At this point in his journey through life, X, you can call him X, you can call him Al, was feeling perplexed. So he thought of what he knew. He knew that film was the same as life. And he knew that the essence of film was metal. You used metal cameras to make it. You watched it on metal machines. And what was film itself but a sequence of images on a metallic tape? If life was the same as film, and film was the same as metal, then life was the same as metal. X reasoned that if he made a film about metal, he might understand more about life, and maybe even creep up on some of the big questions. Who was he? What were the connections between things? What's the pattern behind it all? And what is the shape of the future? About this time, X had a dream. In the dream, a voice said, find a fish out of water, made of metal, of course. X knew that there were all sorts of fish in the Mediterranean. So he went south across the Pyrenees, to Spain, to Barcelona. When a dog is tired of Barcelona, he's tired of life. Everywhere you look, movement, color, companions. And at night, it's warm enough to sleep on the beach. It was a reality of sunshine. X decided to take a walk.
the time is here I know this is the last call And if you take my hand Baby, we could have it all And if you come with me Our next stop is the promised land Same as it ever was Eternal place 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 Time has come, I know this is our last chance. All very nice, but this wasn't getting X any closer to his fish. And there were other problems. The place where X was staying could take him for only one night, and that night was up. So they sent him on to another place, but that place was full. So they sent him on to a third place, by the sea. By the sea, X saw fishermen. And he thought that if he watched the fishermen, he might learn something about how to catch a fish out of water. And then he saw it, a big copper fish just sitting there. He wouldn't have seen it if it hadn't been for the camera he was using that could make everything bigger or smaller in his eye. And he wouldn't have been there to see it if the one place hadn't sent him to the second that sent him to the third place here by the beach. All these connections. The fish was made of copper, a metal of connections. You have it in your speaker wire. It brings the sound from a disc to the speakers. X had been up in the park, the fish was here, but even when they were separate, something was working to connect them. Once X had gone to school in Paris, a friend there was working on a theory in physics, which said that even particles separated by light years were connected by strings of energy. String theory. That night, a stranger introduced himself to X. It turned out he was studying at that very same and very small school in Paris. One connection leading to another, that fellow introduced X to a girl who, like X, was a student of writing, dance, and film. They talked about how connections brought like to like. I think they're unique to meet people. I think that decisions you make lead you to those people, to those places, and the decisions they make lead them to the same places. I don't know if someone's planning it, or I feel like it's chance, really good chance, but chance. And just... always works out because I could have been here and I could have sat and had my friends in Barcelona and then I could have gone out and never had a conversation, never talked to anyone else. I could have stayed in a different hostel. I could have gone to bed. I could have stopped the conversation after, hi, where are you from? But. I don't know, it's little decisions that end up making an experience, making a memory, making a funny story for (laughs) anyone, making a movie. Making a movie, exactly. And who was this ex, running around, making movies, talking to people? What was he doing? Mm, I think he's a seeker. I think there's something 
beyond most of us that we're all curious about and that we're all driven to to look for in some way or another something that's kind of beyond us and kind of abstract intangible that's just out there and that be it some sort of sense to life or some reason or some I don't know, truth. Everyone looks for it. If they look for it as playing their role and thinking that it's going to pay off in some way, that there's some reward in the end, or whether they think there's nothing, everybody's looking for something. I think that it's it's kind of an interesting way to just look for it outside of your life outside of what you do every day to go actively looking and just connections again, like looking actively for the holy grail, I mean, it's just, there's something about it, there's something about everything that just makes you go and keep going and once he gives up or once someone gives up, once you, once you stop somebody will pick it up, somebody else will start, maybe in a different way or following a different path, but Everyone's looking for that answer, reason. X decided to take a road trip. A short road trip. And then everything fell apart. Rain. Lots of rain. Which was not what X had planned to film. Even worse, X's camera decided to stop working. And he had a cut on his foot. So here he was, tromping around a small city in the rain, trying to find a way to get a working camera for the next morning. Late afternoon, and places closed for siestas, and a strange language, and no umbrella. Though, in its way, even the rain was pretty. As he watched the rain, X heard a voice. Find a flower that lasts more than a season, it said. Well, fine, X thought, now this on top of everything else. Well, maybe the museum in town would have some flowers in it that lasted. He realized that thinking about obstacles wasn't getting him anywhere. He resolved to be a better person. And at that moment, as he stood wondering where he could find an umbrella in this strange town, someone came by and, true story, threw away a pretty good umbrella. And then looked at X as if to make sure he'd gotten the point. X went to the museum, and someone who worked there, that's her there on the right, called somebody she knew, who had a camera that X could use. Not only that, but she let him film inside the museum, which normally people couldn't do. With all these angels around, this must be some sort of heaven. Something that's in its right place, the place where it's left to be. Well, it stays there where it's meant to be. This might take a bit longer. Titanus took two T's to tie two tops to two tall trees. That too. Way is the hard way. Does it happen in a place where it's way. meant to be? It just stays there. Don't listen. It's just calm. Do. It's huge, like sea fin. Sea finian. Sea fin. They say fin is there.
Surely this was the shape of the future. The shape of the future would have more curves to it, X thought. Or some new understanding between curve and straight line. After all, the straight line, the Cartesian grid, had been allowed to run rampant the last few hundred years with the result that people were living in boxes, mental and physical square boxes. Maybe there could be some new dance between the straight line and the curve, the curve and everything it represented, creativity, fertility, yin, change, imagination. comes when we are innocent. Like I was innocent tonight. Well, I suppose I wasn't, but I wasn't. This building was a higher evolution in the relationship between the curve and the line, reason and imagination. Frank Geary had imagined it, just as Gaudi had imagined his park in Barcelona. They had imagined and created worlds. Who was to say what shapes the flowers of creativity would take in the future? X had seen a painting. You might know it, Los Meninas by Velázquez. It's a painting of the royal family and the court, but the painter paints himself into it. The whole painting looks like it's what he sees in a mirror. What is a mirror but a glass with metal behind it? But I have to put what's up here out into the world. Like it's got to go, and whether that be in dance or in art or in writing, it's got to come out. But part of that maybe because if it stays in, I'll go crazy. I think it's what I project. I am my projection. The world he sees is one he at once creates and reflects. When X went through those doors, he went into a room, and from the many books in the room he chose one, and among the many pages it contained, the book fell open to show a painting by a painter X liked, Basquiat, a painting that was in this building for these few months only. Here is the painting. It's about music and alchemy a study of metals, their qualities and changes, and how these are reflected in the student and in the world. X saw that in looking at the shapes and changes of metals, he had glimpsed the spirit of the world. You just are. And then other people put a name on you, and sometimes you put a name on yourself, but... Everything connects. As above, so below, harmony. Alchemy X reflected on his journey. His walking feet had brought his watching eye to this magnificent place and to himself. He saw himself reflected in the metal. All the strength and flexibility of titanium were in him and in anyone who cared to look for them. There was a creativity that shaped the qualities in him, in the same way it shaped even plates of metal into the forms of flowers, or fish, or ships, or anything you like.
he saw that he had been in a titanium flower, and that there were flowers in him that would last more than a season. I and the flower are one, he realized. And that was the making of Alchemy X. Essence. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sash. <laughs> oh, my essence. Oh, no. 